like this. I just cut through the top. Maybe I should try a different knife. <laughs> Hello, homemakers. I'm Melinda, and I'm cooking my way through Betty Crocker's 1971 recipe card library. And today we're making fondue loja. All right, so fondue loja is card number 14 from section B, American Classics. I don't know what about this is American Classic. <laughs> I've never heard of fondue loja before. And when I Googled it, it seemed like the only recipe for fondue loja was from Betty Crocker. It's this recipe. So I'm pretty sure she made it up. Um, I thought fondue loja meant that we were gonna have like a Hawaiian style fondue but that's not what's happening. Um, instead, we are carving out a pineapple and putting a chicken salad, chicken fruit salad, inside the pineapple. So let's get started. Uh, so Betty says, this salad in its own container comes from Hawaii, pineapple paradise of the world, made with fruit that once only kings could afford. And that is interesting to me because I was questioning where all these fruits came from and now that makes sense it's only the fruits kings can afford because it is a wild combination of fruits you'll find out <laughs> all right let's take a look at the ingredients of fondue loja <laughs> um, this recipe serves eight and i am by myself so i'm going to cut the recipe in half and i have to remember throughout this whole process that i'm having the recipe because i have a tendency to forget that and put in full amounts of ingredients so we were making half the recipe. It calls for fresh pineapple, cut up cooked chicken or turkey. So I just did a quick like pan saute of some uh, chicken breasts and chopped it up. Uh, diced celery, mayonnaise, chopped chutney question mark. Um, I wasn't sure what they thought chutney was in 1971 or what they were referring to when they say chutney, but to me, chutney is kind of the mango jam that you get in a lot of Indian dishes. So that's what I purchased and I paid $6.99 for it. So I hope it tastes good. <laughs> Curry powder, a banana, some salted peanuts, and then to garnish, we have some flaked coconut and some mandarin orange slices. All right, our first step is to dissect this pineapple. I don't think I've ever cut up a full pineapple before. Uh, it says to select a pineapple with fresh green leaves. Cut each pineapple lengthwise in half through the green top and then cut in half again, making four pieces each with part of the green top. <laughs> I just cut through the top like this. I just cut through the top. Maybe I should try a different knife. <laughs> oh yeah. We did it! Wow! Okay, I just have to do it again. <laughs> the cutting through the green part is just like what really confuses me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> some won't have as pretty of a, <laughs> a top as others. We lost some, uh, some ferns at the top, but I think we're okay. All right, so our pineapple is now into four wedges for four servings. I didn't do a very even job. Some are definitely bigger than others, but that's better than I thought they would look. Uh-oh, <sighs> got a lot of loose foliage here. The next step is remove fruit by cutting along the edges with a curved knife. Drain, cut fruit into cubes, removing the eyes and fibrous core. Is there such a thing as a curved knife or is she just meaning that I'm going along a curve? I'm using a straight knife to do this. I don't know how deep to go. I think I'm just gonna know when it feels right. She's juicy. Yes, okay, we have our little boat. And then I'm cutting the end off. It doesn't really feel like um, a bowl as much as it's a flat surface. 
So we'll see <laughs> how it holds our, our salad. Um, it says to drain the pineapple shells cut side down. So I'm just putting them on a little paper towel over here. Okay, now we're gonna cut up the pineapple that we took out of the shell. And um, I need to remove the core and remove any of these like little bits that kind of came through the outside. The eyes, they call them. The pineapple has eyes. Okay, now we need to cube it into like bite-sized pieces, I guess. You don't want them any bigger than the chicken. I'm trying to do like a, maybe a half inch cubes. Yeah, it's not too bad. <sighs> Once again, celery, our old friend. It really, t this recipe really toes the line between sweet and savory. Like the chicken mayo and celery, that's chicken salad. But then you got all the fruits and it's like a whole different ball game. We need three quarters of a cup, but we're only making half the recipe. So what's half of three quarters? Okay, so well, three quarters is six eighths, so three eighths. So I need three eighths of a cup but I don't really know how much that is. Three eighths is like a little more than a quarter, right? Because two eighths is a quarter. So we're gonna do a little bit more than a quarter. Why did I buy a whole head of celery for a quarter of a cup? I don't know. I guess I'll have some snacks later. All right. On to the next. Okay. So now we have our pineapple shells and we need to start making the filling. So we are combining the cubed pineapple, the chicken and the celery, and then we're gonna cover it and chill it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, technically, I only need Two and a half cups divided by two is a one and a quarter cup, which I think I have more chicken than I need. But like, have you ever had too much chicken? It's good to like mix things together and then like take a look at the overall proportions once it's mixed and then decide. Like I do feel like this is more pineapple than chicken. And I feel like they are the featured ingredients. So we want to have half and half. I'll just do it all, why not? Oh wow, this looks gross. All right. Simple enough, we're gonna cover it and chill it. Now we are gonna make the dressing. So we are combining mayonnaise, chutney, and curry powder. So I need three quarters cup of mayonnaise, but I need half of that. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that looks like a quarter and an eighth. Half a teaspoon of curry powder and two tablespoons chopped chutney. Half a teaspoon curry powder because the full recipe calls for a full teaspoon, so I'm doing half a teaspoon of curry powder. This is what confuses me, is that it's a Hawaiian dish, but we're putting curry powder in it and chutney. It's all the, it's all the king's favorites, I guess. But which king? And then one tablespoon of chopped chutney. Okay, a tablespoon of this. I hope that's right. This doesn't seem like enough dressing for the amount of chicken and pineapple we have. But I think the pineapple will kind of release a lot of juices while it's chilling and the juice will contribute to the dressing. Oh yeah, that's good. Woo, okay. All right, I'm gonna cover this and put it in the refrigerator to chill as well. All right, so we are ready to assemble and serve our fondue loa. So these have been covered and chilling in the fridge for a couple hours and it says um, just before serving drain fruit mixture. I'm assuming the fruit mixture is the pineapple chicken celery mixture which is not I wouldn't consider a fruit mixture but that must be what they're referring to. Um, I don't really see a lot of liquid. I see maybe like a teaspoon or a half teaspoon at the bottom. I don't think it's enough to attempt to drain it. I think I'm just gonna leave it. It'll add to the the mayo as like part of the dressing. 
so I'm ignoring that. Sorry, buddy. Toss lightly with mayonnaise mixture, banana, and peanut. Maybe I'll start with the banana and peanuts and then we'll get the liquid in there. Got a nice, perfectly ripe banana that we are going to just kind of slice in. Ooh, it's a little underripe. <laughs> oh, I think it'll be fine. The banana really throws me in this. Also, I realized that it calls for one medium banana and we're having the recipe. But there's so much here. I feel like we need a whole banana. I'm adding a whole banana. I'm going rogue. This is why, this is why you shouldn't let me ha try to have a recipe. I never actually have it. Yeah, you want to make sure everyone gets some banana. And this is such a weird combination of things. Um, third of a cup of salted peanuts. So a sixth of a cup. Okay, let's just uh, eyeball it. The photo, you can tell they're the kind of peanuts that still have like the brown papery part on them. <laughs> but I couldn't find that at the store. All these peanuts had like, you know, were shelled and roasted. I need more peanuts. This is crazy. I know I'm making too much. <laughs> But <laughs> go big or go home. I want to see all the ingredients in a bite, you know? We're adding the mayonnaise. So far, I feel like the mayonnaise mixture tasted really good. I think it's going to go on a weird assortment of ingredients, but it could work out. I'm hopeful that we're going to have a good dinner. It's like a chicken salad. It is more mayonnaise than I thought it would be. She's well dressed. <laughs> All right. I really want to taste it right now, but I, I think we just need to plate it and like do, do the damn thing and then I'll taste it. Okay. Let me get my pineapple shells and I'll be right back. All right. We have our mixture and we are going to put it in the pineapple shells. In the photo, they very much feel like a boat. Like there's a side to it and mine feel very <laughs> flat. <laughs> So I don't know, I don't want it to like spill over. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna pile this up. You really can't tell what's what. Like what is a piece of chicken? What is a banana? What is a piece of pineapple? Ugh, we're losing them. We're losing the peanuts. I think that's as much as I can get. I honestly forgot there was celery in this until I just saw a chunk of it. It's been a wild ride. Okay, now we have our filled mixture. We're gonna top with some flaked coconut and some mandarin oranges. So for those of you keeping score at home, what are the king's fruits? We have pineapple, banana, coconut, and mandarin orange. Oh, and the chutney, the mango chutney. So we have pineapple, mango, banana, coconut, and orange are the king's fruits, allegedly. Okay, now I'm gonna fish out some mandarin oranges to put on top. I don't think I've ever had canned orange before. Oh, little babies. Oh, it's so cute. I love the pop of orange on top. Okay, we did it. It looks beautiful. Here we go. Bondu loha. I'm stalling. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we have to eat it. <gasps> I want to break it. It's so pretty. I want some chicken, some pineapple, some mandarin. Okay. The curry is so interesting. The curry and the peanut is like the first and foremost. And then you get some chicken. Yeah, like sweet chicken. Like very sweet and sugary chicken. It is a, it's an interesting display. It's, you know, it'd be fun at a party, but it's hard to eat. It's hard to eat chunks of salad out of a, a boat. This bite is banana, celery, and chicken. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. No, no. Oh my God. It's just so weird to eat something so sweet with chicken. Peanut and pineapple is a delightful combination. Some combinations work better than others. The curry is good. The curry, mango, mayo really holds everything together. And the peanut. 
Fondu Loha. What did we think? Our Hawaiian paradise. This was really gross. <laughs> this was like just the combination that I never would have imagined having in my mouth all at the same time. But I get the like thinking. Pen on paper, if you wanted to like summarize Hawaiian tropical cooking, maybe all of these ingredients make sense. But together, it's crazy. I like the presentation, like I like that it came in a pineapple that's very like 1970s, very dinner party. I think people would be like, ooh, when it came out, but it was also messy to eat it that way. So like, you have to compare the presentation with like the eatability of it. All right, so fondue loha, what do I give it? I think it was just really out there and that excites me, so I might give it three out of five red spoons. Okay, back in the box. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy homemaking.